In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added one an iPad here and when I click, it will show you uh, four different uh, uh, icons uh, with the sphere shape and then I've added some sub shapes. Then you can add some detailed text to it. You can use this for some business connection purposes. And if you're not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And you can like to support my channel. You can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide. Go to Insert Pictures. From Online Pictures, I'm going to insert a picture of an, an iPad. So I'm just going to search for iPad. Enter. And then this particular iPad image, I'm going to insert it. Click on Insert. And then reduce the size you can see the small this one this you can just delete it and then reduce the size you can see here like this and exactly put it in the center then i'm going to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose some oval shape one oval shape hold the shift key add one small oval shape like this all right shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice Press Ctrl D to duplicate. I'm going to add one more uh, shape, a little bit reduce. I'm reducing the size and you can give some uh, different color here. Then one more, I'm going to add it here. All right, maybe I'm going to give uh, maybe a green color. And then here, I'm going to add one more. Okay, and then I'm going to place it here. And this one, I'm going to give it a purple color. Then I'm going to link this with the help of a line. For that, go to insert shapes from the lines. I'm going to choose this one freeform shape. Click here and click one more here and then land it on to the top of the iPad. You can hold the shift key so that you get a perfect straight line and double click this one. All right. And then the shape outline, you can give the same outline of the color which you have uh, added here for this particular oval shape now the similar thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to shapes lines and i'm going to choose the freeform shape now this time i'm going to select this one and here you can see click and hold the shift key and then land it here all right so let me just do quickly for the other part you can see here and double click and then the last one you can add and then hold the shift key for the straight line all right so like this i have added this particular shapes and what you can do is you can just give them some a 3d effect for that right mouse click go to the format objects and then i'm going to select the effects go to the 3d format i'm going to choose the bevel which is the round all right and then increase the height you can see here you have to increase the height and increase the width as well so it looks something like this you can see here it looks kind of more of a sphere so once this is done you can go to insert shapes you can add uh, some icons sorry not the shapes you can just click on the icons and depending on the requirement you can just choose any icons of your choice so let me just choose some four random icons it's taking some time it depends on the internet connection so i got it so now let me just randomly choose four icons click on insert move it here i'm going to reduce the size to maybe 0.7 could be and then i'm going to put it exactly on top of this and here and here all right and then you can just give instead of uh, black you can give a white color here all right so once this is done you can add some more uh, shapes for this one the sub shapes so again go to insert basic shapes i'm going to small uh, shapes you can see here i'm just going to add and make sure it's no outline and you can give the same color what we have uh, given for this press ctrl d to duplicate so i would like to add here i would like to add one here all right and then i would like to add one more here and then like this and then this i'm going to connect this one so before that one let me just add it for the others also some random so you can see here i'm going to add one here one more and here one more i'm going to add it and i can just reduce the size of this
so you just need to add all these shapes one by one for each options depending on the requirement all right so you can see here maybe i'm going to add one more for this and then just duplicate this one here and make sure that when i'm choosing this one i can just choose the color to match with this one okay and this one will go with the green and then i'm going to add for the last option this one i'm going to give it a purple and press ctrl d to duplicate so like three i've added here and then the same way we need to connect it now if you want to give a for example a 3d effect you can just select here go to the home format painter and click it here you can see here again for this one also again if you want a green one give the format painter like that okay maybe for this also i'm going to give this color you can see here and for this and i'm going to give let me just move aside and i'm going to give this one all right so like this now with the help of the lines again shapes freeform shape i'm going to connect it here you can see here and just double click and give the same color and write the same thing go to insert shapes again i'm just going to give like this all right so you need to just connect uh, these options or these uh, spheres to the bigger one so you can see here i've added uh, this one uh, the connections i can then select these connections and increase the width of this you can see here and then you can give the dash type all right and once this is done you can add some small uh, icons to it and then you can go to insert text box you can add the detailed text here equals lorem within brackets one let me just put equals lorem within brackets one and then you can see here i can just add delete the unwanted text reduce the size and i'm going to place it for this one here press ctrl d i can add one text for this again one text for here and then one text for the bottom one you can see here like this you can do it and then if you like to hide this uh, the ipad screen you can just go to select again uh, from the shapes uh, the lines i'm going to select the free form and i'm going to click it here here and then join this one and you can give no outline and you can give some gradient color here and i'm going to increase the transparency you can see here and maybe you can give a radial from the center all right like this again this one you can bring it to the front bring to front you can see here we have done this thing now uh, you can add some basic animation effect to this and i'm going to use maybe a wipe animation effect 